This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2018 Ram 1500 crew cab short bed. It's a 5.7 liter uh, gas V8 Hemi. Uh, four wheel drive crew cab. It is a Lone Star Silver Edition. Um, it has 73,156 actual miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from State, State Farm Insurance in Houston, Texas. It is on a clear title. It is actual mile title, and it's a hell of a nice truck. Um, we brought it here. Um, they had stolen the wheels and tires from it, so we had to buy some wheels. Those are the correct wheels for this trim level, um, and a brand new set of tires with brand new tire monitors. Okay. Um, it also got new tail lights. They cracked them both to break the bulbs when they stole it. Didn't want to be seen apparently. Um, let's see. First of all, there's your little silver edition badging, right? Um, tailgate cap was missing. That's the piece on top of the tailgate. Replace that. And then we discovered that even though the radio and most of the stuff worked, navigation and, and uh, USB and uh, XM radio did not work. Took the, de took the uh, deck out, turns out it needed a brand new deck. So we took it to Home Subtle Ford, it got a brand, or Home Subtle Ford, Jim Click Dodge, got a brand new deck, um, new wiring uh, that they cut, and uh, we also had the oil changed at uh, the dealer also, okay? Uh, and then it went and got a detail. This thing sat at Jim Click Dodge for two months waiting for that radio to come in. That's why we've had this thing so long, because we've been waiting forever. I had a video out on it before where we hadn't fixed the radio. Um, too much concern about that issue, so we did away with that issue. So obviously we just spent $1,500, $1,600 on this truck. So obviously the price is going up, but the issue's handled, all right? Um, anyway, I'm gonna walk around this truck. Not a whole lot to point out. Um, go through the photo gal gallery for uh, cosmetic issues. If there's something major in this video, I'll point it out. Um, there's really nothing. Stuff like, there's a little ding right here in the bumper. Um, there's really nothing major cosmetically. Uh, but uh, if I see something in this walk around during this video, I will point it out. Looks like there was a light scratch right here that somebody touched up. It's a little thing right here. Could use a little touch up. But uh, my job in these videos isn't to tell you how great the truck is. Um, it'll speak for itself in the uh, driving part of this video. And when I show you the uh, invoices for it, um, you'll be able to see what we've done to it. Um, I'm going to show you the Carfax. I'll show you a copy of the title we got from State Farm. Um, let's see what else. By the way, it's only 101 today. In a week, it's supposed to be 112. And with our lack of uh, rain right now, we're going to have a problem here in Arizona. And it's windy today, too. So when the wind gets going here, we'll be on the news here next week. <laughs> we will be officially on fire. Which is a bummer. Anyway, a uh, little door ding right here. Okay. Anyway, let me get out the keys. So you've got lock. That's unlock and lock. All right. And then it says. I think you got it locked. Right. There you go. So now it's running, right? Now you got to unlock it. There you go. Then you get in the car. Got to put the key in and put on brake. Boom. There we go. All right. That's that. Okay. All right. Before we walk under going to the hood and stuff, here is the uh, invoice for the radio and the oil change. There's the VIN. Uh, let's see. It finally got done 526. Um, PO date was 405. That's how long it took to get that radio. 405 to 526. Um, radio was a 1060 installed and then there's the oil change okay then we got it home and realized that we still had problems with the wiring so they uh, took it in on 67 and they uh, found a damaged wire in the kick panel what the thieves tried to do is hide it so the GPS can't be found so they repaired all that stuff and let's see that was a lot 477.95 plus tax blah 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 it was like 500 bucks is what i just paid them for that anyway it's handled so now we don't have to think about it all right here's the carfax 
Carfax blends the, co the, the, the current history of the vehicle with the uh, Kelly Blue Book. They come up with a value of $32,190. There's your VIN. No accidents, one owner. No major title problems. Was born in Texas. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Getting serviced. D -d 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 -d. Stolen 912 of 20, recovered 13 of 21. This is the title clear Texas title there's the VIN it was from State Farm with actual miles okay and it was signed off with 73,156 to wheel kinetics okay and then we waited forever for a radio so there you go going to the hood here not much to report obviously Sorry it's not a little bit cleaner, but it, like I said, it was beautifully detailed. And then when I did the original video, we did the original photos, and uh, people were just too concerned about the navigation. So we had to take it to, uh, to the dealer and get that dealt with. We could have sold it 10 or 15 times for way too little money, but the concern was really that navigation unit. So now it's not. Oh yeah, you can't do, uh, can't do the door locks without being in the car they won't let you lock yourself out of the car it's got manuals let's see but, but, but what else we want Over here i did see this here i don't know if this is for this deck or not radio code card 6074 you never know that might come in handy someday i'm not sure if they updated it to this radio and they just threw that in there or if it was the previous radio but it might help you never know Underneath you have the little storage boxes, right? Power, cold AC coming out of the vents. Nice. It's gonna matter a lot next week. It matters today, but next week's gonna suck. Be that way for about three weeks, then it'll start pouring rain every night, and that'll be that. Another box there underneath the seat. I just went to the car wash two minutes ago and did my best on it. So right now you're seeing it fresh from the car wash after sitting outside at the dealer for almost two months. There's your mirror out, in, up, and down. Looks pretty good for a car that's been outside waiting forever for a freaking radio. And I guess it really does matter that I did that for you guys because whoever bought it would be sitting forever waiting for this thing. So. Uh, the parts thing is ridiculous right now. I have so many vehicles that need just the dumbest parts. We can't get them. So it's best. There's your tilt wheel. It's best that uh, it's handled. Because that might be a little stressful to put the next guy. All right. All right. Radio. Let's see. Oh, that's the. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to the radio right here. Boom, boom, boom. Got to figure out how to work this damn thing. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I see. That's for this. Just that. Is there a contract? No. Termination fee? No. What's the catch? No gotcha. catch. All right, so we got, this is the fan. There's your, like that. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to put it up there at 6 because it's freaking warm. Back on the radio. Let's see. And then you have apps. All right. That stuff. And you got navigation. Map. And there we are. Curtis Road. There's a park here on Curtis Road. That's where we're at. Uh, let's see. What else? We'll go to neutral. We're going to go to 4 low. Shift in progress. Auto park disabled. And we are in granny gear. We are officially in granny gear. That is definitely four low. All right. Reverse in four low. Got park sensors are on. There's your backup camera. Neutral. Now we're going to go to uh, four high. All right. So that's shift in progress. Boom. There we go. And reverse. All right. 
back to neutral. Then we're gonna go back to two wheel drive, okay? Um, we have tow haul here. See where it says uh, active and on? That's me doing that, okay? Uh, rear uh, cargo light. There's your rear glass. What else we got? We got all this stuff here. Uh, must be in park. Hold on. No storage messages. Blah, blah, blah. All that. There's the tire monitors right there. Fuel economy. Trip meters. Bum, bum, bum. Music. Your screen setup. Uh, that looks like way too much right now, huh? I'll pass on that stuff. There you go. All right, let's see. All right, let's go on a ride. All right, if you come to Tucson and drive this cool truck home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Um, if you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price. There's no tax, there's no dock fee. Um, once we receive your full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will... Uh, Sign it off to you. We will scan it in your uh, online file, and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope that we mail it in. Um, you will have it shipped to you. Once the uh, truck shows up by shipper, you'll take the title that we sent you that's already in your mailbox, and you will go to your local motor vehicles and get plates. Very simple, okay? Um, uh, if you need help with shipping, let me know. I can help. We can roll the shipping into the price of the vehicle for a, a loan, which is very helpful on an expensive truck like this. Um, or... Uh, you know, you could just have me do it for you and add that to the price of the vehicle and pay for it. I can do the shipping is what I'm getting. I want it to be easy for you. Um, if you're good at shipping yourself, you're welcome to, but I'm really good at it, okay? Um, if all you need is a phone number to call, uh, we can give you some phone numbers to call. Um, whatever you need so you can get your truck fast, okay? Um, deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale, so please make sure you get your uh, deposit in, all right? Uh, last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I will again today. Uh, we don't have sales, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have an expensive uh, property uh, that we have to pay a huge rent on. In fact, our rent is a dollar a year. Our uncle owns the property, it's very industrial. Um, we have night vision cameras and tons of razor wire and cops all over the place, uh, and plenty of crackheads for them to chase around, <laughs> for the cops to chase. Um, uh, doesn't cost a lot of money for property like that. So you're not paying for a salesman, you're not paying for you know, location, you're not paying for uh, uh, an attendant serving scones and lattes in a game room for the kids. Um, you're not paying for any of that stuff. They also know at the auto mall, if they sold you this truck and uh, something broke, you would be pissed because it's a nice truck and you paid a fortune for it, um, that you would have to um, uh, bring it in that you would bring it in and want it fixed. Well, they know that the new car dealership selling used vehicles So they charge an extra five to seven hundred dollars for every vehicle they sell for future repairs um, Even though this thing's not gonna break but just in case they make sure by adding money to it um, They'll fix it. Well, we do the opposite. We give you your money up front We're not charging you the extra five to seven hundred dollars for future repairs that this truck's not gonna need anyway Because we want you to be the owner on day one you're saving a ton of money because you're not paying for all the crap that uh, that they have to pay for at the new car dealerships, right? Um, and so with some of that money you're saving, you can fix whatever is broken. On this truck, I can hardly even imagine what that would be. Um, you know, whatever it would be, it would be nothing, really. It would be, you know, who knows, a window switch or a door lock or who knows. But regardless of what it is, uh, because we're saving you a bunch of money the way we do this, you are going to pay for your own repairs, period. Doesn't matter if it's one hour after you bought it, one minute after you bought it, or five years after you bought it. Um, believe it or not, we have had people call us five years later, you know, saying, oh, my engine just blew up. It's like, it's five years. How many miles did you put on it? 120,000 miles we put on it in five years. And they're calling to bitch. <laughs> like, I mean, they're just insane. People are nuts, man, I swear to God. <laughs> like, uh, man, I wish I could guarantee that a gas vehicle powered vehicle got 120,000 miles uh, after the 100,000 miles that were on it when they bought it. It was at 220,000 miles and they're complaining. I, people are nuts. <laughs> so anyway, if you're one of those, stay away from us. 
because you're really not gonna like the answer, okay? But if you want a really nice truck with all the information up front, this is it, okay? Um, beautiful ride too. It's got the eco thing going too, so it trims out the AC, I believe is how they save a little bit of money when it's running and trims the AC out a little bit. I believe that's how you do it. And somewhere in the settings, somewhere in here, you can t turn that off if you want to, I believe. You're gonna have to Google that because every time I say something like that, someone's like, no, you can't. I'm a detective on the internet, <laughs> you know? So don't believe me, look it up. If I'm wrong, fire off, I told you so. I don't really care. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, right now I'm on my way over to Motor Vehicles, uh, the happiest place on earth. So I can stand in line for, I don't know, ever uh, with a couple customers' titles. Yeah, so they can get their plates. But uh, figured I would just drive this on the way there. Nice vehicle with uh, great air conditioning. And uh, that's that. I have uh, 17 minutes and 38 seconds is how long I have on a video. So uh, I'm gonna use all 17 minutes and 38 seconds. Since that sign says chip seal work, which I am not going through in this truck, so. Huh seeing it yet for those uh, in the uh, East Coast chip seal just means we pour some black crap on top of our bad pavement and call it pavement it's pretty weak actually tour of Tucson. There's Top Golf right there. The Nats right there. I haven't been yet. I'm told it's pretty cool. But I'm also told it's expensive. Um, if you want to give any feedback, give some feedback on Top Golf. Waste of money or not. It's right there on Costco Drive. Huh. Anyway, uh, a couple seconds left. Anyway, uh, thank you for your time. Hopefully I've answered everyone's questions.